Hey guys, today I want to discuss um, Disney Plus. First of all, I am not sponsored by them in any way. I am not affiliated with them. I just really, really like their streaming service. Um, I still use Netflix, but there's so much stuff on Disney Plus that I'm really killing it right now. I'm loving watching Simpsons on there. Um, most of the Marvel content, except for, and this brings me to the point of my video, is that um, apparently Disney owns the Marvel Studios, um, but they don't own the rights to the live-action Spider-Man series. And the reason why this is, is because Sony... Um, Sony Pictures, for the longest time, and still, apparently, owns the rights to the live-action Spider-Man series. Um, <clears throat> now, if you don't really know how copyright works, um, a company, uh, let's take Disney or uh, Sony Pictures for prime examples, um, when a company such as a movie studio or a music uh, producing, um, a music producing company owns, <clears throat> owns something, it's, they own what is called, uh, subsidiaries, and when a company such as Disney or, uh, Sony Pictures or Paramount Pictures, um, owns, the like they they own all subsidiary rights to uh Captain Marvel. Uh Captain Marvel is a subsidiary of Disney. Uh Simpsons is a subsidiary of 20th Century Fox. Um the Home Alone series is a subsidiary of 20th Century Fox. So basically what that means is is that Whatever company owns the subsidiary rights, all subsidiary rights, whether it be 20th Century Fox or um, Disney or Paramount Pictures or TriStar, uh, all of these famous movie companies, <coughs> excuse me, that all, all these famous movie companies, they have all of the subsidiary rights to do with the to do with this content what what they will and i am extremely surprised i i understand there was a bit of a brouhaha between disney and sony um and i and i understand it got resolved and Sony got the ownership back, but if, you know, Sony Pictures sees this video on their YouTube channel, um, I think the next logical step for Disney would be to buy out Sony Pictures or... Um, or if, if they were to give Sony Pictures a exuberant, substantial amount of money, then I think they could pull it off. I think because, you know, because Disney Plus is still relatively new, I think, uh, in time, I think it, they're moving, you can see, they're moving all of their, um, Marvel Studios content to Disney Plus and I think the next logical step in time would be to buy out Sony Pictures or for Sony Pictures to just say well you own basically they they own all they own all the rights to Marvel Studio. All subsidiary rights are Disney's. And I think that is a great move on their part. 
Um, on the other hand, I think in time, um, because they're moving all of their content from Netflix to Disney+, Plus because they want to make the money themselves, I think in time we're going to see the live-action Spider-Man series come to Disney+, Plus eventually, if Disney can acquire the subsidiary rights. And I just wanted to make this video today because I was kind of hoping that they would, but, I mean, it's still possible. And I think in time, because the service is still relatively new, patience, patience is the best option that we have. Guys, if you like this video, I'm going to be doing more videos on Disney+, Plus, hopefully, and right now I am watching Captain Marvel and thoroughly enjoying it. It's worth it for 10 bucks a month. I'm not sponsored and I'm not affiliated, but I just really enjoy their service. And I just wanted to also say that at the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.